Ladies and gentlemen, I get real feisty around my monthly fundraisers, so you've been warned because we're in one right now. Look at that giant big storm. But hey, I was setting you up to show you that. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know, man. As your planetary defense commander has been trying to get us to work together for the last few years, uh, to prepare for the Earth weather changes we're undergoing. Yeah, things are going to get wild. Maybe it is time to upgrade our overall infrastructure from the 1950s and 60s, bro. Maybe take a break from arguing with each other about whatever the heck CNN and Fox News are talking about to get our shit in gear, you know? Just an idea. So welcome to this feisty look at near blizzard conditions for certain parts of the United States of America. And we got a major ice situation that is going to be sleeting and covering the Northeast. All right, you don't have to believe what I believe, and you are more than welcome to have your own beliefs. But what I believe here is that um, the gas giants and their position is having a major effect on Earth our atmosphere, and even the energies you and I are feeling on a daily basis. This is the size of Earth. This is the size of Jupiter, and this is the size of Saturn, as far as I know. Right? And so, right now, you've got Earth kind of over here. But on this side, you've got Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto. And then... You see that, man? And so, when as we swing back around, you're, there's just a lot of imbalance in the solar system. You've got the two biggest... Uh, I don't know. I, I think Jupiter is like the sun's binary companion. But, you know, you've got the majority of the mass in our solar system almost in the same spot. Jupiter orbits faster because it's smaller. Um... I, I said that all stupid, like, so put it together in your mind properly. Thank you. <laughs> but, so it's like I said, Pluto's in the world. Saturn is talked about by every um, religion and society that Earth has ever known. Jupiter, same. And so with them, them all, well, all the gas giants on the same side, and then you got Neptune over there, and Uranus over there. Like, right now, Earth is like the only one we're like out front. It's crazy. Life is crazy. And we're going into a whole new decade. And think about it. So, Pluto, who's always been known as the underworld, although before we found the underworld, or did the underworld find us? Anywho, so it's like, it takes the gas giants, both, like, or it takes Saturn like 36 years to go around. So to have these two all line up, <clears throat> it's pretty special. Um, you know, being in such close proximity... But, like, so Jupiter and Saturn's years, they go around and they meet, I think it's like 20 years and 36 years, for they get there where they pass by Pluto, right? So, so if one year around the sun is a year, I think Jupiter and Saturn have been going through some puberty. So as the underworld is pushing in on us, Jupiter and Saturn are trying to represent the people. I know, it's all crazy. I'm not saying it very well. The energy is pretty sketchy right now. And so am I. But I'm still me. Yeah, my thinker talkers are broken. I can't even form words properly. Maybe it's not the best time to be making a video. But, look at the pretty pictures. I mean, that is one major massive storm. Okay. I'll go to my backup. The crankster. He's around. He's around. The king of weather Twitter and the Thor News gold medalist for 2019 in meteorology, cranker, cranky weather guy. Well, it certainly make for an interesting afternoon. Kind of looks like someone's butt. Good lord. Well, it's juicy enough. 
That's what she said. Yeah, it's a pretty wet system. Cranky weather guy. Again, isobars are packing off the New Jersey coast. Coastal low will start to develop into Virginia tonight. PM. Established by Delmarva. Then start to deepen, define along the tightening gradient just long, just south of Long Island. Yeah, the energy's a bit wild. We're definitely Schumann resonancing right now. So, if you can forgive me for <clears throat> being a little off my game, it's because we're Schumann resonancing totally, or have been. For Christmas, I got a new solar cycle. Number 25, which I had up to 7. So that is amazing, dude. You know? It's like the Christmas solar cycle. I'm very excited about that. Because... For seven years, I've been saying, you know what? Nobody really understands the sun, man. And the sun is changing and doing wacky and wild things. So anyone who tries to tell you they are a master of the sun and exactly what it's doing and what it's going to do is selling you a bunch of bull cocky and possibly snake oil. You don't want snake oil, man. Jen Garfagno, looking at the GO-16 IR NOAA satellites this evening, and one thing stood out to me. Probably a lot of turbulence. Bet it is a really bumpy ride over Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky, and Tennessee. How is your romance doing? Look at those isobars. Isobarin. Yeah, so it rotates and it flips around and shit. But no, this is a serious deal. Uh, the Vermont. You're going to get iced. No, we got ice. we got ice headed our way. At least the earthquakes have calmed down. We're done. We're not out of the warning zone. We've still got another 10 days of it. Um, we got up into the Saturn-Pluto conjunction, which is the 15th, so technically 16 days of it. But I've been doing what I can to be a prayer warrior and to help mitigate the energy and pressure. You know, because I'm super badass like that. What the hell? And there were some tornado warnings earlier, although no tornadoes have spun up yet but look at look at that there's the atmosphere is so crazy it looks like it's about to undergo a very wet period we got a lot of gulf moisture that the storm can fetch from yeah and this storm will not have been totally cleared out of canada and the united states in 48 hours why can't i put words together properly and you've still got some funky wet action coming into the parts of California that are both high, medium, and low. Yeah, the, this is going to be a tornado zone. And there was that one little area I just pointed out that could get, just by the look of it, it looks weird. But we'll be watching here and there and everywhere. Yeah, so this thing is all going to kind of come together. If I understand it properly, at some point, this is all going to kind of this is kind of the skeleton of this storm, and it's going to flatten out. This is going to flatten down, and it's going to become stormy over this whole part. And there's your purple ice right there. And that is going to cause some problems up through New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, Pennsylvania, which is the state Alexis Knapp was born in. I was thinking about Dreamcatcher and Rogue dancing and it made me happy thank god for imagination huh okay so yeah like this is all gonna green out and it's gonna you know this is gonna come down as it, the low retrogrades back and then tr teleports like nightcrawler from the x-men since we're sticking with the x-men team and this is gonna cause some big ice problems and this definitely looks like the red is heavy rain. Definitely check check out Cranky Weather Guy's blog for more detailed information. He's always really good with words. But he's saying a widespread ice storm is on the way. Please follow your local statements. Um, but yeah, uh, looks like a ice coat. Another storm laid a lot of ice, like a coat of paint, over Minnesota and other territories in the United States. And so 
the old forge is about to get cold and icy. I need to think of some new words for ice. Let the mess begin. That's what she said. Oh no. It's like Beetlejuice. If I say Beetle let if I say that's what she said three times in a proper joke fashion, then she appears. I wonder what she looks like. Is she gonna be as beautiful as Rogue or Dreamcatcher? Yeah, and so expect some variability in whether you get a mix or some ice or some snow or some rain or none. You know? I'll probably get none. <laughs> I don't even I'm sorry. Are you guys gonna forgive me ever? Man, Cranky kicks ass. And he's one of those cool people who can be both cranky and cool at the same time. Yeah, he's talking about the parent low and then the grandbaby low and then I guess there's a child low and I don't even know. But it's going to hook up and cause a big mess. Like it's going to clamp down. This is not really like any storm I've seen before. Granted, it's a storm and it's got lows and it's got rain and all that mixed precipitation and shit. But I'm something about the way it's moving and forming. And is this our next evolution as our storm systems in the Quetzalcoatl area? Leveled up? Well, it's time for humanity to level up, man. I think Cranky would agree with me on that one. Though I don't want to put any words in his mouth. Technically, I don't want to put anything in Cranky Weather Guy's mouth. I had a dream. I got everything I ever wanted. So, I'm giving you what you want. If what you want is model runs, this is the latest GFS, and it goes out 16 days. And it's just an idea that the supercomputer had by looking at all the data and giving it back to us. See, look, we're getting another one of those type storms that's kind of like the one we're getting now. Why do I get so trebly at times? All right, and now we're tracking this. They've backed off on some of the rain totals for the next storm, which would be like the fourth in five days. But notice how the size and shape of that storm looks a lot like, and that one just grew out of nowhere. Holy crap, what is happening? What if this new decade is more unstable than the decade that follows? And now I have us on watch and technically Cranky had us on watch first for the two storm two weeks into the January area. But I noticed the models have started to draw it up even at day 16, now we're to day 15, of like a major storm where California would be getting hit by an atmospheric river from uh, the, the equator and then the North Pacific Aleutian side. So that, see, look at that double, a double wham, like wham, dude. Yeah. Right around the, looks like the West coast has another big major storm coming in. Yeah. It's going to get stormy, bro. It is totally going to get a stormy. And so I'll be here with you. This is what I do. And you guys allow me to do it. And I appreciate you guys. And I love you. And I want to say thank you to Robert for the contribution. And Lynn for just being super awesome and light soul. Thank you very much, Cody. You're great. Andrew H. Thank you, thank you, thank you. John and Debbie, that was so sweet. I love that Christmas card. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to contribute to Thor News, this is how I make my money. This is how I do what I do. And I battle like every gang along the way. And so every little bit helps. And Technically, I don't think I could ever have too much. Though, if I think if I was became a billionaire, I might become an asshole. I don't want to be an asshole. Okay, but you can the the best safest way to donate contribute is to my mailbox T Lewis in five four three zero Birdwood Road, number four sixteen, Houston, Texas seven seven zero nine six. I got a PayPal, and then make sure it goes to the Space Cowboy twenty seventeen at Gmail if it asks you for the. I got a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron. I only got $623 left to go from 888 with six days left. And um, you guys are great. And you've been great. So I will continue to try to stay great as well. Yeah, I do the best I can. And I give my best to everybody for free every day. And then I hope it comes back to me. And for the last three years, as I've been doing it this way, it's worked. And I'd like to think I get better in t with time. We'll see, though. And the energy's been crazy. Uh, but damn, dude, look at that. Whatever, this is a major, massive thing. And I don't want to take us off of Earthquake Watch 
or make you let your guard down in any way, shape, or form. Um, but at least my worries and stress have lessened. Maybe the prayer warriors and even my own powers have leveled up. So who knows, though? We could be getting a seven. I mean, I still think we should be getting a seven. I need Dana when it could be wrong. I don't want to make anybody worry about things they shouldn't be worried about. See that face right there? There's an eye, an eye, a nose, and a mouth. Billy's face was in here yesterday, and so now we get that guy's face. There's no way. He's nowhere near as beautiful as Billy. Billy, Billy, don't you lose my number. Okay. Yeah, dude, look at that, and just look how compact that is. It's compact, and he's got a face. Got a face. Man, I keep meaning to work on and finish a video on Beetlejuice exploding. But I gotta edit it and make it funny. Yeah, look how it looks like cotton candy when you mash it up, you ever take cotton candy and then like press it together as hard as you can? That's what it looks like. Man, a cotton candy taco holy grail would be so good right now, but those are almost impossible to find. They're rarer than winning lottery tickets. See that? I'm going to draw it for you. Because you're special. Is he wearing a witch's hat? And I think there are good witches and there are bad witches. Some people are going to be like, that's horrible. But, you know, that's just what I believe. See, there's a... Ah, hello. Did she get one of those drawing pens? There's a mouth. And so there's like his hat there. See that? Yeah. He's got weird floppy ears. He's got, is that an emo haircut? I don't even know. What is that thing? Okay. No, I'm just getting wacky. Well, everybody have a great day. Great night. I'll probably be talking to you guys soon. But when I calm down. But with the storm and the situation going on. I'll be around, and I'll be letting you guys know what's up when I can. Hopefully, I'll calm down, be less wacky, but I don't know. I get feisty at fundraisers. And I think we're all a little punch drunk from the last decade. I love you, and I hope you have a great day. Talk to you all soon. Peace out. Stay cool, and yes.